There is like absolutely nothing in my fridge. If I don't go meal prepping today, I'm sure I'll end up eating junk. I know I look very pretty but I just got back home from my grocery shopping and my room is a mess. I really need to clear that and it's about 11 o'clock. I did not eat anything since I woke up. That's 8.30. I'll be making a smoothie. I'm trying out this new smoothie. I don't know how will it turn out. And I'll be having my lunch at once. So it's just a smoothie for breakfast. It will be high in protein and veggies and probably fruits as well. This looks pretty good. I don't know how the taste will be. You cannot taste the zucchini at all. It's like banana milkshake and I like it. I think I'll make it again. So this is what my lunch looks like. It is like sauteed vegetables. It has broccoli, bell peppers, carrot, zucchini and onion. Um, I guess that's it. And seasoned with salt, pepper, chili flakes and oregano and this is like a basic grilled chicken which I have already recipe up on my channel so you can check it out and lemon by the side. I am going to enjoy this and after an hour probably I'll go to the gym. So I received this message from a guy who is just in 11th grade and who is suffering bullying and this is very common when you are skinny or overweight people are going to judge you no matter what you do and you feel insecure about yourself and I've been through this how it feels it all starts in school to be honest uh, teachers will select the prettiest looking person or the most handsome guy in your class and tell them to give flowers to the guest or take them as a host no matter how much capacity capability you have in yourself people are never going to see that but you will always be judged based on the way you look so whatever you think about yourself inside matters a lot and that is only going to get reflected on the outside. Now I know um, if I gain back all my weight that I've lost, if I go back to 116 kgs from where I started my journey, I will still be this person who I am, who is still confident in talking in front of the camera and who is still confident in going out in public and expressing her opinions. So all you have to do is feel good from within. You can change yourself if you are not happy about it but if you are happy being obese, nobody can tell you anything but if you are not, it's very easy to change. You just have to eat and work out right and that is same thing for skinny people as well. So I would suggest you do not let anything demotivate you no matter what happens. Love yourself, that is the first step to change and then losing weight or gaining muscle mass or whatever it is just a part of it. So loving yourself is the most important thing and we really really forget. And talking about the bullying, I don't think they should matter to you. If they do, uh, and if you did matter to them as well, then I am sure this thing wouldn't have happened at all. So just ignore them, let them speak what they have to. And people who did bully me called me Moti, Moti or whatever it was. And they are asking me for the diet plans and they have been appreciating me for the work I have done. So bullying is like a temporary phase. Once you change, once you gain something, like once you find yourself, people are going to value you much more. So if you know there is a set of people who really, really understands you and who will be by your side no matter what happens, just keep them towards you. Be confident, love yourself and never ever let anyone affect you. And apart from this, find a passion. A passion that is different from your profession or your passion can become your profession as well like it's for me i by profession i'm a biotechnologist but fitness 
is my passion and that is what got me here so finding a passion will help you improve a lot more and again never let anyone affect you you are worth and you are beautiful no matter how you are so you just have to feel good from within start taking care of your skin your body your hair and everything and it's just a matter of few months that you will start improving so never let affect anyone and if they do just kick them out of your life you do not need negativity you need positive people who can improve you need positive people who can help you improve but you do not need negativity that is going to drag you down this is my workout outfit this is a t-shirt which i stole from my dad and i absolutely love wearing his t-shirts and working out it is long it's comfy uh these pants are from pretty secrets the company sent me and they are really good it does not slip even when you squat so yeah <laughs> Yeah, hi guys. Uh, one short message for you. Deshma Mali is crazy, and she is my sister, so she is the best. So follow her and uh, connect with her and get fit as soon as possible. Yeah. Sun rahe ho na? Yeah, they are, they are. <laughs> yes, I am still in my workout clothes, and after the story, I went to my friend's place. Auntie was so kind enough; she made me a soup, a tomato soup, and then coffee pilai. So my friend Aditi, her little sister, came to ask if we'd want to have coffee, and Aditi is like a big time coffee holic, and she made me drink as well. And in the studio, I had a protein bar. Now it's about seven thirty, and I'll be making my dinner. Before that, I'll be changing into my night suit, getting fresh and everything, and then dinner time. So yes. And here is my little man. He hates looking at the camera, so he'll be looking somewhere else. There you go. He's so huge. Yes, and my room is still a mess because I'm lazy AF. So cute. Butu. Say hi to everyone. Hi everyone. How are you doing? Hi. So since in the noon I ate like cooked veggies, I decided to make some raw veggie salad. Yes, cucumber, tomato, turnip, bell peppers, carrot, purple cabbage. And to top it off, I'll be having some dill leaves and coriander. And here is some grilled chicken. And here is some lettuce. So this is what I ended up making. I added chili flakes, salt, pepper, lime, and I think I added some sriracha sauce as well. And if you want to see, there is my little boy who wants to play, and if I go and touch him, he'll run away. He wants me to run behind him, but that's not happening at all. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog, and I know I'm not so good at it, but I'm learning how to vlog, and I know I'll gradually improve. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It supports my channel a lot, and do subscribe and leave all the requests you have in the comments down below, and I'll surely do it. And do let me know if you want me to make this a weekly thing, like a week where and what I eat in a day and how I spend my day. So if you would want to see that do let me know and you can follow me on all my social medias link will be in the description box down below bye